If you like the teddy bear look of Golden Doodle feet, but also appreciate the tidiness of the shaved back poodle style feet, this video is for you. Because today I'll be talking about the hybrid concept of hidden poodle feet. Yes, it's a thing, and I tried it on my Golden Doodle Sophie for the very first time. Stick around and I'll let you know more about it. Hi, I'm Joanna. Welcome to my Golden Doodle Diary, a channel about Golden Doodles, Groodles, Doodle Dogs. Subscribe if you'd like to follow along. If you have a Golden Doodle with those cute hairy teddy bear feet, you also know it can be hard to keep the hair on the feet from developing mats between the toes and to get good access to the nails to clip them. And let's face it, the classic poodle feet, by which I mean feet that are completely shaved back, are a practical option but it's not an option that appeals to most doodle dog owners or for that matter to some poodle owners who prefer the shaggy doodly look on their poodles. So when I recently read about the idea of hidden poodle feet, I instantly wanted to try it on Sophie. As I mentioned in another video, I'm yet to personally give Sophie a full body clip as such. But since the beginning, I've been using my trusty little battery operated trimmer to tidy up around her belly, sanitary area and so on. And this time I use the same little trimmer to give her hidden poodle feet. Like most dogs, Sophie does not like to have her feet handled. So I had to use a kibble reward to get her to lie still and keep her head down. Head down. To create the look, I firstly gently trimmed the hair inside her paws. This is where they're particularly prone to matting and getting burrs and debris stuck. Once the paw pads were done, I pulled back the hair on the foot so I could get clear access to the toes. Then I trimmed the hair in a downwards motion. The trick is to only trim from the first knuckle down and over and beneath each toenail. I also trimmed back the hair in the webbing between her toes, which is another matting prone area on doodle feet. And afterwards, I smoothed back the hair over the foot so it's looking all fluffy from the outside. Once I finished trimming the paw pads and the toe area, I stand Sophie on a hard surface and use my thinning scissors to neaten up around the foot. The thinning scissors cut the hair without leaving a blunt cut. As you can guess, I like the shaggy star look. And here's a comparison of, let's call it, the overgrown hairy foot versus the neatened up hidden poodle foot. As you can see, this technique works well even on super long coats, like Sophie's is at the moment. This was the very first time I tried it. It's not super professional, but it turned out fine. The only thing I found is that it seems to expose her nails a little more than usual, but that was probably because I cut a little too far in on my first attempt. So what do you think of the hidden poodle feet concept? Is this something that you think you'll try on your doodle or poodle? If you do, let me know how you went in the comments below. Sophie and I wish you a beautiful day and we look forward to your company again soon. Bye for now.